Hi guys, I'm Steve from Alpha Gas in Nottingham. Now, if your radiators are hot at the bottom, cooler at the top, you probably need bleeding. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, you need two things. You need a bleed key, which is this one of mine here. It lives on my key ring, this one. You don't have to have one like this. They come in a few different shapes, colours. Some companies put their logos on them, but as so long as you've got a square bit at the bottom and some kind of lever to turn it, you should be fine. But this one was about 50p from Wilco, so they're not expensive things. If you don't have one, you don't need to break the bank, and you need some tissue paper as well. Now, on the radiator itself, this is quite a new one, so I'll just show you this one here. You've got this whole plastic insert for, um, for bleeding the radiator. On this one, the water's going to come out of this little hole here. On older radiators, it's going to come out just here, just by the screw. Okay, this one as well has a uh, little slot on there. That's just in case this uh, screw gets rounded off, because that can happen as well. Okay, you just get a slot of screwdriver in there, and it just makes things a bit easier. If it's an older system, it hasn't got the slot, and you're still struggling to get the square bit on the end, you may need to think about replacing the bleed nipple. But cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, just like a screw anti-clockwise to open it, you'll hear like a pssst sound clockwise to close it. But when you start to see water or you think it's very close, because if the heating system's on, you can feel where the heat's coming. Okay, so you can sort of feel where it's coming in and then you know roughly when to put your tissue over so you don't get it on your carpet, your floors, or your walls or your tiles. So do that, clockwise open it, you'll hear, you'll hear the air coming out close it off. Now, the only other thing to mention on these is if you've got a pressurised heating system. If you've got a pressurised heating system, letting the air out of it will drop the pressure. Okay, so if it drops the pressure, you may need to go to your filling loop. Underneath your boiler, whichever system you have, I'll go through that in a different video. Uh, and you'll need to keep topping up the pressure because this will drop it. It'll cut your boiler out and it could potentially stop air coming out as well if it's really if it's really full of air. But I'll go through that in another video. So any comments, subscribe, and uh, we'll be putting loads more videos on, hopefully over the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much.